Welcome to NLS 5, the six hour race. So uh, yeah, the big one today. Final build up towards the 24 hours as well. It's uh, Saturday morning, I'm just walking to the circuit. We had a full day's testing on the Norwich Life uh, yesterday morning and afternoon, which was mega because no one was out. So not much traffic for us GT3 cars, which was really good. Made some progress. But uh, we still managed to do a big setup change overnight, so we'll see if that pays off today. Ultimately, we're just trying it before 24 hour weekend. Um, drama's already started. Uh, Norway introduced some quarantine rules for Germany. We're traveling back from Germany anyways, which came into force this morning, so Saturday morning, which meant that Christian Kronjes from Norway has had to fly home. Uh, so that relieves me and my new teammate and our new teammate for the 24 hours, Jordan Pepper, to do the six hours between us. So it's going to be a bit of an Ironman event today. So um, yeah, excited about that. Uh, normally just used to do sort of single hour stints, maybe a double every so often. But now, yeah, splitting the race pretty much in half, three hours each. So be a real test of my fitness that I've been training for all year. Anyways, uh, we're about to jump into the pre-quali meeting and then jump out for quality. It rained overnight, so it'll be interesting to see how wet the track is this morning, but I think it's gonna be a nice day. I think it's gonna be clear, dry, and uh, yeah, perfect for us. So let's go do this. Endless five, let's go. So for the row six hour, um, the production team managed to get a helicopter and that provided an amazing insight into the NLS and the Nürburgring, something that you never see before. Obviously all the TV footage is, is purely based around the Dottinger and the uh, Grand Prix Strecker. So it really gave a great insight into the battles and everything that goes on in the Nordschleife, dealing with the traffic, battling other cars, uh, and on such an amazing day, uh, this was end of August, um, yeah, it provided a great spectacle and added uh, an amazing perspective to the race. So I really hope they can bring that back again. So yeah, here's a couple of minutes of just aerial footage uh, before, and then the start of the race as well, uh, just to enjoy uh, the Nordschleife from a completely different perspective. In der dritten Position mit einer 7 Minuten 59, 27 und danach geht es wirklich im hundertstel Sekunden Abschnitten weiter. Wir haben den Walkenhorst BMW M6 mit David Pitter, der zwischenzeitlich die viertschnellste Zeit vorgelegt hat. Ins Auto ist zwischenzeitlich Jordan Pepper eingestiegen, auch ein Neuzugang in dieser Mannschaft. Er ist ja üblicherweise auch für Bentley im GT3 Sport unterwegs. Jordan Pepper schießt sich jetzt quasi ein auf der Nürburgring Nordschleife und das Ganze beobachten wir jetzt gerade auch aus unserer Heli. Ja, und wenn du den Jordan Lee Pepper erwähnst, der ein oder andere wird jetzt vielleicht den Namen Christian Kognes vermissen, der gestern noch mit dem Auto gefahren ist, aber der hat dann auch über Facebook, über seinen Facebook-Kanal geschrieben, aufgrund der ja, Einreisebestimmungen in Norwegen, Corona-mäßig, schlag mich tot, ja, gibt es ein Problem und er musste zurück. Er, er kann heute kein äh, NLS-Rennen fahren, weil er irgendwie zurück muss, auch beruflich bedingt mit Quarantäne. Keine Ahnung, was da genau läuft. Schade drum, er wäre mit Sicherheit sehr, sehr gerne dabei. Für Jordan Lee Pepper natürlich die Chance, kriegt er noch mehr Fahrzeit und kann sich noch mehr auf das... ...race cars, a helicopter, two horse boxes and a motorbike. Yes, that should, it should keep us occupied, shouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. To say the very least. Two by two they are indeed coming up to Tiergarten, so we're about to start, John. Yeah, it looks like they're forming up quite nicely, the Porsche safety car. Then for the Audi, just weaving a little bit to get heat into the tyres. Down into the first corner with the big... Mercedes has gone through, takes second place, the second Audi trying to come through as well at the front of the field. So the front row starting, Rover Racing BMW beaten to the punch by the team 
HRT, AMG, Mercedes number 16, the yellow, sorry, orange and black car behind, uh, sorry, the uh, Octane Ferrari and ahead of David Pittard in the Falcon Horse BMW, who has a look round the outside on the Grand Prix circuit in the Total BMW. Check that, that was at the top of the uh, top of the foxhole. My apologies. Now that's been something he's been doing all these races, John. We've commented on this every time. He nearly always starts that BMW, that Falcon Horse BMW. And he is, if I say aggressive, I mean cleanly and mm. professionally, but he is like a terrier, like a little pit bull dog. We've said that on these, these each of these races so far. He can deliver some extraordinary opening stints in now, to the point that a couple of times uh, when it was damp in the last round, we did question whether he'd even keep the thing on the island, but he did very successfully. Uh, and got a few places and he seems to be able to do the same at the end of a race but of course that's a four hour race we've got another two hours 50 percent added on this time just to make it different but uh, david pittard in that falcon horse uh, m6 uh, has been a an absolute star of these opening stints of the uh, nls so far this season david pittard probably a name that a lot of international viewers and listeners won't have heard of too much but he's made a real reputation for himself very quickly peter uh, in the Nürbur on the nurburgring and uh, enhanced his reputation as an endurance driver which we've known david for a, a wee while but he's become a bit of a nurburgring specialist so a mid-race update um absolutely terrible start uh, a little bit down to me because I didn't warm the tyres up properly so when I was really pinched up against the inside of um, turn one, turn two, turn three I just needed that last little bit from the tyre because I was really close to the uh, cars around me uh, but I wasn't managed to do that uh, I couldn't do that because the, the heat wasn't in the tyre which meant that we dropped uh, quite a few positions at the start which was really horrendous and then I tried to attack the Lamborghini, the FFF Lamborghini, which is, I know is a very fast car in Blancpain, but not very experienced here at the Nordschleife. So I wanted to stay ahead of him because I knew through the stint that he wouldn't be as fast uh, as me, for example. So I hung out, but realistically, I probably should have given up the one, one position to him, but then, uh, and tried again later on in the stint, but I tried to fight it around the outside of turn, uh, three into four but as a result I got mugged by about three or four other cars so I actually ended up really losing out and then still being stuck behind Lamborghini which I then proceeded to do for the rest of the stint which was yeah pretty crap um, couldn't really do anything the car's super down on power again so not a good one so far Jordan's in the car at the moment uh, getting everything <laughs> there's Dirk Adolf BMW Jr uh, program manager and um, Jordan's in the car at the moment he's just started his double, sti uh, double stint so he's got plenty of mileage uh, which is the main thing for this race so yeah we'll check back in a second So for the majority of the race we just cruised around just inside the top 10 really making sure that he produced a clean race. Uh, Jordan did a mega mega job to uh, compete with a lot of the local guys, uh, guys that had sort of uh, very regular experience at the, the Nürburgring but Jordan was able to mix it with those guys which shows that he's right on, right on the money again which is fantastic uh, going straight into the Nürburgring 24 hours. However, uh, it was a little bit of a disappointing result because um, yeah, the pace we showed all race really, we were, we were nowhere, which was very frustrating. And I really hope that there's something that we can pull out of our sleeves for the, the 24 hours in only a couple of weeks time. So um, we ended up at the race in P9, um, which was again, it was okay. We still managed to retain the lead for the 
uh, Rover Speed Trophy Championship and the SP9 Pro Drivers Championship. Um, so that objective is also ticked, which was good. Jordan did, got loads and loads of miles um, and the car came back in one piece as well. So it's only uh, less than three three weeks before the, the 24 hour race now. So yeah, we're, we're buzzing to get, get going that, bring the team back together again. Uh, we've had a multitude of sort of teammates uh, throughout, the, throughout the season. I don't think each race has been the same. So to bring all the guys uh, together under one uh, roof will be fantastic. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you subscribe uh, for uh, that content about the Nürburgring 24 hours is going to come soon. Uh, but in the meantime, enjoy this video of me chasing down the Schnitzer BMW uh, on the final lap of the six hour Rover um, NLS 5 race. Till next time. Ciao, ciao.